What do you think? Look at that. <laughs> did you find it? Ralph did. We're close, Molly. We're joined today by Adam Sutton and Molly Nyquist, two young primatologists who claim to be closer than ever to discovering the truth behind the myth of Bigfoot. What are we doing, Molly? It's like we're chasing a ghost. Sometimes I wonder if we're just wasting our time out here. Yep, it was the summer of 96. I saw it while I was out hunting with my buddy. It came out right in the open. Thing must have been like nine feet tall. If something like this really does exist, the implications would be profound for the entire human species. I mean, we're talking about bridging the gap between primates and people evolutionarily as primatologists and explorers. How could we not study something like this? How do you deal with any scrutiny that may come from your peers? The more the better. When I first saw this thing, the, the adrenaline flew, you know, I mean, I was shocked, excited, just like all of them, they do exist, you know, because I had a 30 out 6 loaded, and had that thing have turned and rushed me, I would have shot it. So I feel that if that was a hoax, somebody was taking an awful big chance with their life. 